Hello, my Mount Olive brothers and sisters. This is our second social distancing, spiritually connecting video devotion. For this devotion, we turn to that well-known phrase from the blessing that we hear at the end of each of our worship services from Numbers chapter 6, verse 25, the Lord bless you and keep you. Now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. How many thousands, maybe millions of children have learned that little verse for their bedtime prayer? And it's a good prayer. It reminds both children and parents that the Lord will keep them. They are in his care. The word translated keep in that blessing we hear at the end of our worship service says the same thing. Sometimes that Hebrew word is translated guard. Sometimes it's translated watch over. When God keeps us, that is what he is doing. He is guarding us. He is watching over us. And as that little bedtime prayer states, even when we are asleep, God is taking care of us. As the psalm writer says in Psalm 121, he who watches over you will neither slumber nor sleep. In addition to his personal care, God also uses his angels to guard and keep us. Psalm 91 says, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. What greater comfort could we ask for? The Almighty God himself, along with his powerful angels, are keeping us day and night. Without even realizing it, they are keeping us from death and disaster while we travel. They keep us safe at home. They keep us safe at work. And yes, they guard and keep us from sickness too. More importantly, the Lord keeps us spiritually. Through his word, he keeps our faith alive and prevents us from falling into unbelief and its punishment. This doesn't mean that we never have any troubles or heartaches. God says we can expect that while we live in this world. But because we are kept in his care, we know that everything is working for our eternal good. So even in the darkest times of our lives, we can be sure that God is keeping us. Even in the hour of death, we know that he will keep us from falling away and will take us to heaven for Jesus' sake. Because God is so good to us, there is something we will want to do for him. To show our love for him, we will want to show our love to others by serving them and taking care of their needs, especially now. That's our way of saying, thanks, Lord, for keeping me in your care. And we pray. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Ten mornings breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. Amen. And may the Lord continue to guard you, guide you, and bless you always. Amen.